Hello there, just making a review for my first AR, the Colt Defense LE6940. Very nice rifle. Put over a thousand rounds in it. Zero failures of any sort. Constantly cleaning and getting it back out there. Well, first you'll notice the LaRue Tactical Urban Dark Earth furniture set that I got for this very nice color some people like it some people don't works for me though comes with a CTR stock love the locking feature on this works very well zero wiggle wobble of any type has the Mohan grip and also the FUG front little stubby adapter on here so I really like the long ones that go way out here. And also have a Vikings Tactical offset light mount for the Surefire 6P I have on here. Very nice affordable weapon light. Some people say it'll be slamming the battery back and forth when shooting. Probably when I afford a dedicated weapon light I'll get one has a uh, LED swap in in there makes the batteries last a little longer also have a Vikings tactical sling mount just wanted to move the sling from all the way out in front to kinda in the middle of the b rifle have it paired up with the uh, ASAP plate here Colt does a good job on staking these things and had a little fight with my rifle to get that thing off but it wasn't too hard kind of made it seem a little bigger of a chore than I thought it was going to be I have a magnifier uh, behind the EOTech here the EOTech is going to be a EOTech 511 um, got this pretty cheap because of the older version the non rubberized on and off switch it's mounted on top of a LT-110 Louis Tactical Mount riser so it can be in line with the primary arms 3x magnifier deluxe version with the uh, Louis Tactical flip to side mount LT-649 uh, mount lines up pretty well the only beef I have with it is uh, the one third co-witness that supposedly supposed to be on this rifle is 10% maybe even 5 also have a uh, USGI 30 round clip with the Ranger plate on there also I got a uh, Magpul polymer trigger guard try to keep down the weight but rifle's a little heavy but nothing I can't manage and a lot of people have been kind of having beef with this front sight, but I like it. It's pretty sturdy. Got to put some pressure to it to get it down. Also, I have a bad lever you see kind of sticking out here. Very nice feature. You don't have to mess around with your left hand to release the bolt or activate the bolt catch. And here's the Surefire 6P. Nice little mount. I like the way the office offset mount is not too bulky. I did have a uh, scout mount on the left side, kind of too wide out. This one brought it in a little bit closer to the to gun and also to the line of sight when you turn it on. Very nice. Here's the bad lever. Very little wobbles mainly the wobble of the actual bolt catch lever here nothing but as far as the bad lever itself very well built here's the sling mount sling mount is supposed to go here but didn't like the way it was so far up front it was uh, when I gripped the gun thing was a little bit in the way so moved it back a little bit 
Also, a lot of people have been saying the bottom little removable rail here for the grenade launcher or flare launcher, whatever you want to put on there, is a little loose, but as you can see, nothing. And people have seen it wobbles a little bit when you're holding it, but like the other YouTube video said, I hold my AR like this to have more control over it. Wish Magpul could come out with the UDE version or LaRue Tactical to, of the Ingo Force grip or Ford grip. So I could have a little bit better handling of it. I have one on my MP1522 and it works very well. Uh, I think I covered mostly everything. I'll show you the one third co-witness which is supposed to be there but I don't see it. There you go. It's like 10%, maybe a little lower than that. I love the rectangle on the EOTEX. I like it very well. Be switching over to a aim point whenever I get enough money to do so. A very nice rifle, highly recommend it. You won't go wrong, especially with a Colt for your first. AR. That's why I went with the Colt. Didn't want any problems. Thought about building up one myself, but I guess just took the plunge and got me a Colt as my first AR, so wouldn't have any problems with it. Probably eventually get this, get another rifle built up from the ground up. So highly recommend it. Let me know what you think of the video. And there's my spare mags in case the crap hits the fan. Alright, 